Hello guys, so in today's video, I will be showing you how I sculpted this character in just 10 minutes. So first of all, we start with the head. We're using the grab brush to block out the basic shapes. And then we remesh and smooth things out. Then use the draw sharp brush to carve in the jawline. And using the same brush, we carve in the eye line. Now what we're trying to get here is the major shapes of the head with the major forms and the planes. I don't usually draw this over the reference, I usually do this with my head. But here's how I break things down so I understand the basic proportions of the head. So I can picture the character even in the basic shapes of my sculpt. Then I go on to bulge out the cheeks and mark out the chin. Then I add in some cylinders for the ears and then add in some clay for the eyes. Then I clean things up a bit and move some things around, add in some more volume to the cheeks. Then I add another round cube which I sculpt in the shape of a bust. Using a vertex and the skin and subdivision modifiers, I add in some arms. Then I add in some spheres for the chest, which I then mush into place using the grab brush. Then I join them to the body and remesh it all together and Use the draw sharp brush to break things down into planes since that's like the easiest way for me to understand things. And I go on to mark out the collarbone and do some creasing for the eyes. I ended up doing a different approach for the eyeballs which you'll see later. Then I draw out her nose. I push in the edges of the nose because the nose isn't just super glued onto the face. It actually comes out from the face. So you have to take note of that when you're sculpting it. So you can see me just trying to get in the basic shapes of the nose, the planes. Now I grab some faces on the eyeball and give them some color. Then I rework the eyelids using spheres which I remeshed and dragged into shape. And I do the same for the lower eyelid. Now we're moving to the mouth area. I crease the chin a bit further, then pull out a crease for the bottom lip. Then I push in a crease for the middle of the lips and pull out a crease for the top lip as well. Then I mark out the sides of the mouth since there tends to be that divot over there. And I'm doing a bit of marking around here. Leaving these sharp lines and planes helps me understand the shapes better and makes things easy for me. Then I add in another ball for the hair. I then drag it out, remesh, and using the scrape and brush out brush, I make a kind of hair block shape out of it, and I duplicate that for another of the hair strands. Then I slap on some quick colors on the hair, and add another blob for the hair on the side of the head. I then sculpt it in shape using brushes like grab and snake hook. Then I add a ball for the major mass of the hair, and crease that to get the parting of the hair. Then using some curves, I put in some basic curves for the hair and I use more skin point sphere thingies to sculpt the rest of the hair. And by the way, if you're still here, you're probably a legend because most people don't usually stay this long. While you're still here, why not help me hit that like button? I really appreciate it. And if you like this video, why don't you just subscribe so you know when I release the next one. I'm actually presently working on a tutorial series which follows my process of making a character from sculpting to retopology to clothing and to texturing. So you're not going to want to miss that and I'll see you there. Back to the video. Then I go in to do a bit of refinement on the body and I use a circle curve to dictate the shape of the horns. Then I go on to do a bit of work on the ears. Uh, most of the work on the ears is skipped in this video because I'm trying to keep it brief. But you can watch the full time lapse of the process which I'll probably link on screen here. Or you could just watch the live streams in which I did the full sculpting process in real time. Now I'm just doing some refinement. You see me doing some sharpening on the edge of the eyelids. Then you can see I made a huge jump in progress of the ear. Sorry about that. Like I said, the full video is on the channel. 
Then using some vertices, I extrude them and make some eyelashes. Then you can see me adjusting the shape of the eyes. The sculpting process is so finicky, if that's the word. You're always going to be adjusting stuff, going back and forth, destroying detail, adding detail, making big changes. That's why it's good to leave things as low poly as possible. Now you can see me using the same method for modeling her top. Now I'm also modeling the buckle thingy of her clothes as well. Then I put them in place and nudge the straps so it fits perfectly. Then I add a cylinder for that other thingy on her arm. And you can see me doing some extra work in the hair. Just cleaning things up, sharpening some of the edges and clumping things together and I keep going from hair clump to hair clump, remeshing, smoothing, creasing, sharpening and in this part of the process I'm just going to mostly be using the smooth brush, the multiplanar scrape brush, the scrape brush, the draw sharp and the crease brush. Then I add in some curves which I use for the smaller strands just to add a bit more break in silhouette and in the detail of the hair and you can still see me making some major changes in the hair that's why it's good to keep things separate for as long as possible and now I add things together and smooth them all out and then I set up some lighting because now we're gonna be adding colors to the character so I slap on some basic colors for the character then I steal some eyeballs from a previous character. The eyeballs I use are the Tiny Naki Tiny Eye eyeballs. They're really awesome. I might link them in the description. They're completely free. Then I go on to painting textures for her lips and the color variation on her skin. If you want a video on how I texture characters in multiple layers and with some automated level of variation without even unwrapping them, Tell me so I can make a video about that. Now you can see me painting a roughness map which just decides how reflective the surface is going to be. So you can see I'm making the lips more reflective, the nose bridge more reflective. I'm going to make the shoulders, the cheeks and some other parts a bit more reflective than the others. And then I add in a bit more detail to the horns and that's about it. This is the end of the character process. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, Tell me in the comments below. I always want to hear what you want and you can decide who I sculpt next. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.